do something fun we shared with y'all at our last video that some changes might be coming for us this year. What we thought was going to happen is that we were going to sell our camper, sit with that one for a little while while we got wedding plans going. Um, so part of that happened. Yeah, but it didn't entirely happen. We were going to basically take the season off. Um, that was the plan, like Steph said, but but we started thinking about it and, and made a move. Yeah. yeah, so we did sell our camper. So, just working on getting everything out of the camper, getting it cleaned up for the new owners, and um, as excited as we are about our next camper, it's kind of sad, I'm not going to lie. I've been really emotional about this, which I know may, may seem really dumb. Um, but this was, you know, when we bought this camper, we had no idea um, if we would enjoy camping or what we were even doing. Um, as we've shared many times, we were empty nesters, just kind of looking for a new hobby. And it was COVID time and there wasn't a lot of places you could go and things you could do. Um, and so it really was a whim. Um, we bought the camper because we had watched YouTubers <laughs> during COVID when we were all trapped at home and we had watched hours and hours of video. sold our camper but then we got to talking one night and the thought of not having a camper and not having camping season until next year wasn't good. <laughs> it was actually in church one day after the Friday that we sold we made a deal with the guy buying it we were in our life group class and we were a lot of us are campers in there and they said you're gonna go the whole summer and then I said yeah that's the plan you know with the wedding like Steph said but then all of a sudden, on the way home, Steph said, are we really going to go all summer without camping? And I said, hey, if we want to start looking. So then we started looking. and Yes. Uh, so when so we bought camping. that camper, um, we had never camped before. If you've watched our videos, you know we were brand new to all of that. Yes. And so particularly Mark and Tricia, um, we had watched... Um, Let's Jump More Journey, a lot of their videos, um, and we really were just kind of intrigued with the whole lifestyle and what all you could do with a camper. And so when we bought it, we just knew very little, um, but it just turned into something we've absolutely loved. And so when we bought it, there was a little bit of a um, negotiation between us because Mark wanted to go a little bit higher end than I wanted to go on our first camper. But we, when we talked about it, I convinced him that we didn't want to go higher end if we didn't know if we were even going to like it. So we'd never been before. We knew nothing about it. And I did not think it made sense to buy a luxury camper for your first camper ever, particularly when everybody was telling us that they lose their value as soon yeah. as you drive them off of the lot, yeah. which was not the case for us. No. And we did very well reselling our camper. But it, it was a great camper. It was a great camper. And, it and we never, kept it really clean and yeah. took good care of it. So we and talk we, about why you wanted why you wanted a why you wanted a different camper. Yeah. Um and I told Steph going into this, even back when we started thinking about selling it, I said, uh, you know, options. We can do nothing, keep our camper, we love it, it's perfect shape. It's twenty twenty one. We had it we would have had it three years, maybe in a couple of weeks. So we had it almost three years and loved every minute of it but but like Steph said when we did buy it originally in March of 21 we I kind of uh, I don't want to say settled but I agreed that you know we'll we'll go to this budget and would like to have gone a little higher but it was a smart choice so then after three years of camping and obviously knowing what we learned and love what we uh, saw and I, there were some things that I'd like to have gotten into upgrades basically so that's that's kind of the main reason upgrades nothing wrong with the grand design and I know there's a lot of uh, stuff out there right now on grand designs and other campers about the frames I'm telling you our camper uh, was solid and I would have uh, kept it and been very happy with it but, yeah. but we, we just decided we went that kind of mid grade like we didn't get the solitude but we didn't right. get the imagine we got the kind of mid yeah. we got the reflection which was again great it was a great camper for us um, but like many of you probably do we watched a lot of videos and we saw a lot of different options we've gone to some RV 
shows and there was a particular camper that Mark fell in love with and that was kind of the dream camper. impressions there are going to be some differences in storage but I think they're all going to be really good differences um we got a place for a coffee pot which is kind of fun I like the pantry better because it's not super deep and there's it's not useless space there's lighting there's light in it there's a plug in it so that's kind of cool um there's tons more serving surface area so when we entertain places to put food and that like a lot more of that, which I'm really happy about. So yeah, I'm looking forward to a king size bed because that's what we have at home. So that'll be good. <laughs> and I'm we'll ready see to what, go. We'll see what this RV mattress. Yeah, we have to try the, yeah, we may have to upgrade the mattress. But, but it is a Or at least put a topper on it. put a topper on it. Yeah, that never works. <laughs> it's freezing in here right now and I'm getting impatient because it's time to go. But yeah, other than that, first impressions, I uh, really, really like it. Well, we just had a reway at the Catskills with our new camper to make sure that everything, you know, checks out on the load. But now I'm fixing to calibrate our Pro Trailer Backup Assist sensor. Uh, I hope this is enough room right here. So I'll set up the camper. I've got to get straight here. We had a very long night, our first night in our new camper. Bentley and I slept about four hours the whole night. Um, we spent about two hours in my lap because there were severe thunderstorms, tornado warnings. It was not a peaceful, restful evening, so. Yeah, like Steph was saying, last night was stormy and we knew it was coming. And at one point we woke up to a tornado warning and wasn't sure what to do. Obviously we're in a camper. There was probably the bathhouse was the best option. Did we go to it? No. Uh, should we have? Probably. But we just rode it out and thank goodness nothing bad happened. So we are headed to find somewhere to eat some dinner. Um, after our long stormy night last night, I'm ready to kind of get out. It's been a beautiful day today. The problem is we can't agree on where we want to eat. <laughs> You can't decide where you want to go eat. That's the problem. We have big decisions to make. If we go eat Mexican or pizza, so we're going really super healthy, but we can't. I really wanted a steak too, but you know, it's That's still on the table. I know, but it's, you know, it's risky because here's my thing. Mark kept looking at places and I'm like, okay, like what's the dress code? We're in a town I don't know. Like, is that somewhere that kids are making reservations for prom or is it like, you know, a diner? I don't, I don't know. And it's all part of the experience. trip of 2024 camping season and we're back at Tim's Ford which ironically is where we ended 2023 camping season other than our trip to the beach um, so this is one of our favorites just because it's nice level campsites it's pretty easy to get into it's close to home lots of water as you can see behind us which we always love um, not a ton of hiking but then over at the main campground um, or the main I don't know what it's called. Mark can tell you more what that's called. Um, but there is a huge bike trail that we like to take, a, a really long trail. So you'll probably see some footage of us doing that this weekend. Um, but like I said, we're just kind of happy that it's not stormy, even though it's still rainy and wet. Um, but the 
the storms have seemed to have blown on by. So that's really a good thing. So we're just out for a morning stroll, put the dogs away because they don't always hang with the pace that we like to keep when we're really walking for exercise. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to a great weekend. hike 2024 camping season and we are not in hiking shape at all yet so thought this is gonna be a easy little paved path but once again mark tricked me and now we're on a very steep a very steep path um yeah luckily it's not super long we looked at one that was like seven miles but it's march we'll do that in june um, but yeah, looking forward to getting back in hiking shape. It's a beautiful day and just the right temperature. Really pretty scenery here at Tim's Ford State Park. a paved path or at least somewhere to stop and take a little break we'll see what's up here Whew. goodness if we want to keep going 4.1 more miles we go that way this is the trail we just finished no bailout trails <laughs> in other words you can't quit so we're over here at this Converge it to these trailheads. We started back here at the visitor center and the nature center took the Lost Creek Overlook Trail intersected the bike path and this uh, Marble Tr Plains Loop, which we're about halfway through. Nice new uh, shelter here. I like it. waiting our turn to get to the dump station which is one of the downfalls of places that don't have sewer when you yeah. leave on a Sunday at checkout time <laughs> yeah we don't really ever run into this but it, there's there like six or eight rigs over there earlier and just waiting our time no rush I guess yeah so just kind of a summary of our first outing what do you think awesome love the love, Brinkley. love the Brinkley uh, no flaws I mean, maybe the, our, the mattress that came with it is uh, subject to uh, criticism. <laughs> yes, you had a good night's sleep, sleep last night. night's sleep. I did not, but uh, but it's not terrible mattress. Not like we had with our other rig. The, the, but this one is uh, mediocre at this point. It may get better. I don't know. Yeah. So, hey, if Brooklyn Bedding or any of those sponsors want to jump on board and send us a mattress. That's the trick we're running into. We're happy to talk about it. We have an RV King, which is a weird, there's two or three RV King sizes. We have a 70 by 80, and you don't go buy those mattresses off, even off Amazon. So we're maybe stuck with that or uh, Brooklyn Bedding, which are... I've heard the best, but they're pretty pricey too. So, yeah. But there's pros and cons. They're made in America, and and and, and I've heard they're super nice mattresses. So. Not sure we're ready to make that investment just mm. quite yet. So, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I definitely love it. We'll do a tour of the rig um, in an upcoming video pretty soon. But um, I love the kitchen setup. It's mm -hmm. great. Uh, we had some friends come over last mm -hmm. night, and we grilled out, and I was able to 
you know, host folks, which is important to me. That's not something I enjoy doing. I always like for people to come hang out with us. So it was That's nice fun. to have a kitchen that felt like a home kitchen, a commercial kitchen. Not commercial, but a residential. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no chef. Well, the first commercial kitchen. I'm, I'm no and an chef. RV. <laughs> yes. You heard it first here. <laughs> <laughs> a residential kitchen. Um, so that was good. Although the stove is fairly commercial with gas. I mean, it's got nice... Uh, we'll show it later. It's got nice burners. <laughs> nice burners. <laughs> this is quality content right here. <laughs> we shall see. For sure. Yeah. But yes, we enjoy, we've enjoyed our first outing, <laughs> yeah. first hike of the year. I'm sore today, definitely out of shape. So it's time to get back into camping <laughs> mode, camping, camping shape. Yeah. Yeah. We, sh we need to book some more of this first. But uh, yeah, we're going to hook up and go dump and hit the road. Stupid move, stupid move on my part. Just tried to hook up, forgot to take the X chunks out, ruined them. Luckily, did not ruin the tires. And lesson learned, yeah, yeah, be slow and but don't stop during your processes. And you know, we talked about we have checklists and we use them all the time. And uh, with this new rig, really didn't change anything, but just got uh, just paused. In a, in a process and cause minor damage and I feel probably worse internally than it caused physically on the rig but it just stinks you know you feel like ah I should not have done that and I'm really hard on myself about that so but that's all part of it I mean that's the yeah. thing I mean you're gonna make mistakes like nobody's perfect I keep telling Mark that you're gonna make mistakes Obviously, you don't want them to be million dollar mistakes or you don't want them to be mistakes that you can't fix. Um, yeah. But what we do know that we didn't do is this was our first trip of the season, so we probably should have been using a checklist because we uh, haven't yeah, we haven't camped this year and yeah. with a new rig. But again, you're gonna like it's so it's it's almost impossible to not make mistakes. First time so. I'd used those X shocks, very first time. Yeah. They, and all the pieces. Uh, luckily, like I said, the tires appear to be okay. Uh, yeah, maybe no harm, no foul, but there was potential for a big foul. Right yeah. But with camping, there's just a lot of, there are a lot of details. There's a lot of details. Um, and that's just all part of it. And so, yeah, we lived through it. We survived it. And it will be okay. And my heart was racing for probably a couple of hours. Yeah, Mark just can't, he can't let a mistake go. I can't go. let that go. Yeah. And it, bless him. So, I tell him one of these days he's going to have a stroke or a heart attack or I, something crazy. I literally took an EKG on my Apple Watch. <laughs> and my heart was racing. And it probably uh, isn't healthy. But that's just your mental makeup is you are who you are, right? I mean, it's just part of it. Uh, maybe. We're going to work on that for sure. <laughs> you do.